Good morning and thanks for joining us for KBUI 2 News Midday. I'm Rick Douglas. Now to your top 11 stories at 11. Firefighters from five agencies responded Sunday afternoon to a brush fire in Star, the first really big brush fire of the season. The call came in around 245 about a controlled burn that had gotten out of control. So crews from Meridian, Boise, Eagle, Middleton and Nampa responded and worked to keep the fire from reaching a nearby home. Meridian Battalion Chief Ken Wellborn had this advice for homeowners. Yeah, be careful. Have have a shovel and a hose line around. Uh, you know, keep your burns small so you can control them. Crews had the fire knocked down in about an hour, but it took several more to mop up. The house was spared and there were no injuries. Three juveniles were saved from the South Fork of the Boise River this weekend. Elmore County Sheriff's deputies say five young people were rafting Saturday when their raft flipped near Featherville. Two were able to swim to safety, but three juveniles were stranded on an island in the middle of the river. Deputies say no one was hurt and the kids were released to their parents. Bad weather conditions are forcing the solar impulse to land in Japan. The experimental plane is attempting to fly around the world, powered only by the sun. The plane will wait out the bad weather in Nagoya, Japan. It will then head on to Hawaii. It took off from Nanjing, China early yesterday. The journey to Hawaii is expected to take 130 hours, the plane's toughest leg yet. Senate Republicans have agreed to begin debate on a House bill that would overhaul the National Security Agency's handling of American phone records. But that turnabout didn't come soon enough to prevent laws governing other domestic surveillance programs from expiring at midnight. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul stood in the way of extending the program because of what he called NSA overreach. The Sonarif boy, the Boston bomber, they say, how will we look at his phone records? Get a warrant. Put his name on it. 2048. So now the question is whether the Senate will pass a bill that the House can live with. If so, surveillance will resume with some changes in how phone records are being handled. If not, they will remain dormant. For some, tomorrow marks the real start of summer. The six municipal outdoor pools in Boise are set to open. Swimmers can dive in beginning at 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. Youth season swim passes start at 30 bucks for Boise residents. A family pass is $114 for Boise residents. If you don't want to buy a season-long pass, it's between $2 and $5 to get in and swim for the day. Boise soccer fans found out Saturday afternoon that they'll get their kicks a little sooner than expected. The Basque Soccer Friendly will now be played July 18th rather than on the original date, July 29th. On Saturday, Club Bilbao qualified for a tournament that takes place on July 30th, so obviously they can't play in Boise on the 29th. Kickoff for the match between Club Bilbao and Club Tijuana is still set for 7 p.m. at Albertson Stadium. Tickets already purchased are still good for the new date. A reprieve of sorts for Skinny Dipper Hot Springs. The BLM has decided not to close the popular attraction near Banks while it weighs all available options. Back in April, the agency announced it would close the hot springs due to public safety concerns and degradation to the surrounding area. But a group called Growing Change appealed the BLM's decision. A San Francisco Bay company that collects old equipment and resells it online is looking for the elderly woman who dropped off a computer like this. That's because the computer she thought was junk turned out to be worth a fortune. Two or three boxes, like you can see on the table with some stuff like wires, keyboards, mice, some old stereo, something like that. Well, inside those boxes, the holy grail of computers, an Apple One. The very first computer sold by Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs, only 200 of Apple Ones were ever made. Someone came into the store and bought the computer for a whopping $200,000. And since the company usually splits the proceeds of a sale with clients, they now say they have a $100,000 check for the woman who dropped that computer off. Two sizable earthquakes struck this morning off the coast of Oregon. A magnitude 5.8 quake struck at 12.52 and a second measuring 5.5 hit at 4.46. They were about 330 miles west of Salem and about six miles deep. No tsunamis were triggered by the quakes. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham has kicked off his presidential campaign. He launched his bid for the Republican presidential nomination in the small town of Central, where he grew up. Graham is a prominent Senate voice in seeking a more muscular foreign policy. 
And although he's an outspoken member of the conservative class that swept into Congress back in 1994, he has often sided with Democrats on some issues. Well, lovers in Paris will have to find a new way to express their love. That's because the city is removing thousands of padlocks attached to the famous Pont des Arts Bridge. The locks weighing about 45 tons are causing long-term damage to the structure. Last summer, a chunk of fencing fell off under their weight. This morning, the metal grillwork came down, and soon the bridge will have padlock-proof plexiglass panels. 